Walking Dead Marathon on Netflix. No game day, just marathon. We're doing a reaction to season nine later tomorrow. I don't know. I got plenty of things to do tomorrow. But mostly I think it's gonna be tonight. If I do season Come on. Come on, come on. Good boy. Good, good boy. Boo hoo. Okay. Now it finds. What are we looking for again? Oh, the Walking Dead. Get the Walking Dead. Walking Dead, where the fuck are you? AMC, the original series. Whatever. I can't have to sit anyway. Um. Wasting time. What the fuck? Okay, next episode. He said five Marshall. Is that you? Help me. Help me. My boys. My treasure. I need my full kit. Maggie? Yes? Painkillers, coagulants, grab everything. Okay. Clean towels, sheets, alcohol. In here. No case. Is he alive? <laughs> I'm happy in doing this, but sadly it won't be a game day episode. I was really hoping it would be a game day episode, but I didn't want it to be. So we're going to do whatever it takes to create a... A really good marathon. We're only gonna do five today and we're gonna do a couple more tomorrow. So three now. Stay like that. No, we're off the sun. Good start. What? What? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. 
Okay, thank you. You know what, this season, this season's like getting stuck in a barn and there. And then it gets blown up and then Rick has the argument at the end and then we see the prison at the end. Season 3 is basically about the prison. About the prison. Second. And it's one of the best seasons. I'm sorry, I have, if you if you disagree on me. Let's do the mid-season finale of season 3. Then I can explain anything, everything else. And then, so far, we take place about his war against Rick Grimes. And then we're going to be on season four. Which, uh, this, all this half is basically about the final battle with the governor, the first half. Yeah, the final battle with the governor. I said that right. And yes, Angela dies in season three. Season for now. Okay. Then the second half is legit, like, just so fucking boring. God damn. Season 5. Yeah. Yeah. Season 6. Okay, it's one of my favorite episodes. I'm sorry. If I could get that. I could give this season a pass because it's a good season. Oh, and yes, Daryl's brother dies in season four. I think. I don't know when Daryl's brother dies. But this first half is really good of the season. And this season finale of the movie Jesus was one of the best characters ever. You know what? Next world was pretty damn hilarious. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
not tomorrow yet. But it's getting good. Then season seven, the shit show. Let's just watch it. God damn it. Okay. Someone fine well Netflix original show. Negan's in it. Yay. The actor left that is in the cliffhanger. Sorry, I just couldn't do this whole marathon. I just then we then we legit figure out who he kills first. Who's the first one? Rest in peace in the cell. You will be re remember in the cell. <laughs> oh god, I stop. Oh, making jokes. You were, you should know. There was a reason for all of this. Red? And hell, he was, is, and will ever be Red. He just took one or six or seven for the team. Don't take a damn look. Take a damn look! <laughs> I would love to see him pick a fight off with Negan if if they if they didn't fuck him all up. That would have been cool to see. But I think I think they're all winning. Negan doesn't have a fucking gun on him. Okay. No exceptions. Now I don't know what kind of lying asshole you've been doing. Maybe they're gonna not kill Glenn Lake in the comics. Maybe they won't kill Glenn. Maybe they won't. Maybe they won't. Maybe they won't. Maybe they won't kill Glenn at all. Maybe they won't kill Glenn. Maybe they won't kill Glenn. Fuck me. Is one not enough? Oh, who's my favorite fucking character? Try something, not today, not tomorrow, not today, not tomorrow. I will cut pieces off of. Hell, 
was his name? There. Wow. That actually sounds right. I will cut pieces off of Daryl and put them on your doorstep. Or, better yet, I will bring him to you and have you do it for me. Welcome to a brand new beginning, you sorry shits. I'm gonna leave you a Why the fuck does that guy have a chainsaw? Keep it. Use it to cart all the crap you're gonna find there. We'll be back for our first offering in one week. Until then, ta ta. Wait. I thought you said you didn't want the axe. I thought you said the axe was yours. I guess he, after he earns it or not. I fuck. I don't care, okay? God damn it! I really hate when they cut bling. Well, it ends with a sad note in the next two episodes. Which end with this next one about the kingdom, which is one of the more good episodes, I guess. Episode 3 is just so fucking annoying. That's why I'm not doing some of these. Episode 4, Negan Returns. No, I'm not joking. This is legit when Negan returns. In this, in episode 3, he's only for a couple scenes and he's gone. Good. Oh yeah, you want me to do episode 8? Season 7, episode 8? That's what I'm doing. So... So keep your sorry shits. Play your cards right. Maybe I'll show you where we live. I'm gonna buy you some bleach. Tony Lynn. You like watching haircuts? Bleach. Thanks. You mean to get the hell Get the hell out of here? <laughs> Lucy. Yeah, like they, they say that later, because you'll find out. You sorry shits. He takes the gun, I think. Uh, this is the part I like. He's a fucking idiot. That's what it is. Call 
McCormick. Die! I don't care about selling guts. It's still gonna. I'm still gonna sell them. Yep. There. There. Happy. Happy I showed the guts scenes. Fuck you for lazy series, Eugene. Fuck you for seasons 7 and 8. You'll see what I mean later. In season finale. But kind of ends with a happy note with them meeting again. I'm happy he escaped. The final battle begins. It's the start for a new hope. New hope! Okay, next episode will be episode 9, which is one of my favorite episodes, I have to be honest. Sadly, I can't show it because it's 50 fucking minutes long. The only episode I don't like is episode 10, which is fucking stupid. New best friend. You'll call them best friends in episode um 16 and other episodes. And this is one of the worst episodes too. These two are the worst episodes. These two. And this one I'm probably going to do anyway, so. This is disturbing episode.
sorry for coming to you. You gave me a choice. Morgan, wait. Morgan's just pissed. Benjamin, get your gun up. God, he said, when I came first, I was trying to stop you. I was going to give my life to show you what should happen today. That sounds nothing. Fucking nope. Look, I'll kill you right here and now. Go! At least he actually had a feel feelings about his death. I was a little disappointed. took one from the cargo, and he hit it. When we stopped, he wanted to get something started between the kingdom and the saviors. Okay, okay it, was, it was a good episode, but it was a sad Now, episode 16. The best episode in this ep season. The, the light looks for help with the rich people. Negan is taking Sasha to them. Well, and, and the kingdom is about to go help them. 
Hilltop is about to go help them. Junkyard is gonna betray them. Yeah, I, I spoiler. This is the best. That tiger is the fucking best. Season 8 is not that good. Episode 8 was really fucking boring. Which, okay, but not the best. They just lose. Then the second half, well, Carl dies. When we did his final episode, if they are well. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I don't give a shit. This marathon is really long. I know.
Henry Sack of Hell. Next half of this. No. Did I tell you to do that? Or did you just do that by yourself? Okay. Episode 10 is when Jadis loses all her people and. And Simon is just a piece of prick. Episode. Well, the doc dies. That's all you need to know. <laughs> and the key is basically. Basically about meeting Georgie. And yes, she's one. She's an okay character. Episode thirteen. I'm not even gonna say anything. It's just so boring. Episode fourteen was okay. Episode fifteen. We're doing that one. I'm sorry. We have to. It's one of my favorite episodes. Guys, you you'll see why. So. We meet Negan. Simon meets ne Oh, did I tell you Negan was... Jadis had Negan? Oh, no, I didn't, did I? Okay. Um, so Negan gets back to the sanctuary. Already no Basically tricking Simon and the others and Dwight because you'll see why. And the I'm okay with it, but... It's just, it's just so damn dumb. What Simon's plan was. Those people, they are always gonna know that there's a loophole, a way to escape. They are always gonna be looking for that chance to push back. So now, I gotta kill all of them. Just like I'm gonna kill you. Fuck you, Simon. <laughs> but he was a real good actor because he's actually in GTA 5. The actor who plays Simon is actually placed in GTA 5 too. In episode 6, the season finale for it, then we're going to be getting season 9. So we he starts fire power and well it's gonna be a it's real easy to seduce Negan. And he slit his throat. I think that's where he changed. The white better return. I fucking dare you. The white doesn't return, I'm gonna be so mad. Maggie, 
primary feelings for a little bit of this season 9 beginning. But she redeems in episode 5 with grand final episode. And oh yeah, she plays like a little bitch. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. So now, Maggie. Guess what? Okay. Morgan goes to Fear the Walking Dead. Someday I'll do that. But Maggie turns into a fucking white animal. It was an okay episode, but it wasn't really that worth hyping. It was a good episode. Hey, did they just... And also... Hashtag Skybound. So thank you guys for watching this whole marathon with me. Goodbye!